Good morning. This is today's project. This is some items I picked up at an estate sale. I'm just sorting through it, deciding what I'm keeping, what I'm selling, etc. So everything I show doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to list it. I have not done any research yet. I hope to list it, but before I take the time taking photos and stuff, I will look on eBay real quick. I just haven't done it yet. So like say right now, this is like a Charlie Brown um, Halloween bucket. It still has the original stickers. I don't know if it's worth anything. Hopefully, hopefully it's worth, worth something. Um, I'm not for sure. Like I don't, I think I paid like a quarter for this. Um, so, and if it's not worth anything, my husband likes Charlie Brown. So there you go. This is a Cabbage Patch Carrier. It needs to be cleaned. It's pretty uh, dusty. Um, I have sold these before, so it's definitely worth something. I think I paid a dollar for it. Um, Cabbage Patch Kids, um, they are worth money between $15 and $20. So if you can find a Cabbage Patch Kid um, less than $5, then it is definitely worth it. And it's worth more if it has the clothes and stuff and shoes. Like, I could sell just the shoes by themselves pretty profitable. And, like, if you ever find the pacif ones that have pacifiers, the pacifiers themselves have good resale value. Um, cause you know, you just lose your pacifiers. So these with, here we go. This one has a pacifier. So she's probably going to be worth like 30 has the entire full outfit pacifier shoes. I will sell her as is, and I can feel that she has a diaper too. So she's got everything. So yeah, she'll probably go for 30. And then this is a Cabbage Patch Kid. It is like the water version. I don't know if these are worth anything because um, it is newer. I think it's like late, like early 2000s, I think is when it's from. This says 1993. Okay. And what is that paint? I think I can get that off with some fingernail polish remover. Ooh. Okay. And then I got birth certificates. <clears throat> I actually will sell these birth certificates separately. Um, they probably are for these two dolls. I don't know. I gotta look because this <clears throat> I usually sell them separately because I normally don't get them with the dolls. So it's been a while since I've listed, so I have to double check is it worth it to list them with the certificates or to sell the certificates separately. And these are just some um, drink stores. These are honestly for my sister. She collects these. I will give these to her. They probably have value, but she collects them. Oh, I might keep that one. That's a giraffe. But she collects them, so those will go to her. In this bag, um, sometimes I usually bring bags with me, um, but sometimes estate sales don't let you don't like you having bags um, with them, and so sometimes I'll just buy a bag there if it's cheap. And so this was, I'm sure, a quarter. It's actually pretty good condition. I'll probably just resell this bag too. But anyway, I picked up the bag to help me carry stuff around. And then this was a bracelet that was probably on one of the um, one of the. Cabbage Patch Kids. I'm not for sure what it says. And then these are old log cabin tins. I don't know if they're worth anything. I just thought, I'm sure they are. It's log cabin, but I just thought they were adorable. I think I paid like a dollar for both of them. There we go, 50 cents. And then cassette tapes. Um, sometimes, you know, when it's new in the packet, people still want them. Um, especially now with like the 90s popular again um, and it's not a huge value but people will buy them all right and then <clears throat> let's get this out of the way Ooh. sorry I think there's a spider give me a second there's like a spider in that box that's a bad thing about estate cells sometimes they come with spiders all right now that I'm done peeing my pants after seeing that spider Oh my god, I hate spiders. Um, here are two glasses. Um, Porky Pig. Those are pretty cool. And then here's just a box of odd assortment of, I don't know, toys. I think I paid like a couple bucks for this whole box. Um, so, <clears throat> and it was in a bag. This is my box. I just threw it um, in here. So, I don't know. Just grabbed a bunch of odds and ends. This is some kind of dice thing from some game. I can't read it upside down. Nacho and dog. Don't know what that is. Remember when these used to be in cereal boxes? These cheap frisbees. Uh, this is like, I think, Fisher Price Little People. 
um, accessory, some McDonald's toys, Daffy Duck, more accessories. There's another, I don't know, is that little Fisher Price? Um, some Nickelodeon toys, just odds and ends. This is, oh, this is kind of dirty. Some of the stuff that needs to be washed for sure. I don't remember this from childhood. When did this happen? This Happy Meal toy. Fisher Price. Oh. So this wasn't a Happy Meal toy. This was probably like a Fisher Price box set of McDonald's stuff from home. Alright, just little odds and ends. I'm gonna sort through. Donald Duck. Is that an Eeyore Eeyore shirt? That's pretty cool. I don't know, scary rhinoceros. What is this from? Some of these are pretty gross. Definitely gonna have to be washed. Oh, that's a Bernstein bear. What was that purple dinosaur called? I don't remember. Barney? That's what it was. Another Bernstein bear that looks a little worse for wear. Some sumo wrestler. Oh, I remember these toys. Why does it look like this? Oh, there we go. You remember these toys? Oh, we were so easily amused as kids. Now, my nieces would be like, what? Where's my iPhone? I don't know what. Glow in the dark. Fisher Price. Another one of those. Oh. Lisa Simpson. Oh, an old vintage cupcake topper. Ninja Turtle. What is that? Like a watch? I think this pops open. It does. It's a, a watch. And that's why I remember these. Like, remember when your grandpa went golfing and had to have one of these for whatever? Oh, this is actually records money. Never mind. Remember those counters, though, that your grandpa would have to count strokes? Golfing, that's not it. This keeps track of money. Again, this was the 1970s iPhone, <laughs> and then a comb. So that's it. I try to just to be everything more manageable. I'm just I have more stuff from an estate sale, but I'm just doing like a couple boxes at a time. What I know I can get done today, and then if I get it done early, then I'll start another box. So I think in the past I've tried to do too much at once, and so that's why I'm breaking everything into little lots to make it more manageable. So anyway, I'm going to sort through this stuff, clean it up, decide what I want to list and keep. So anyway, thanks for watching. Please hit the like and subscribe buttons and I will see you later.